Hello young learners. In this video, I will be sharing the NCRT solutions for the lesson Wonderful Waste Class 5 English. I am Sangeeta Basu. This is from the book Marigold. In my previous video, I have dealt with the explanation of the lesson Wonderful Waste. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Now in this video, we will first focus on the questions given in the exercise. We have questions like what were the preparations in the palace for? Why did the Maharaja go into the kitchen in the afternoon? What had the cook planned to do with the vegetable scraps? And then we have a box where we have to circle the ingredients of a wheel. So let's focus upon first the question and answers. Answer the following. This is in page number 12. What were the preparations in the palace for? Answer, the preparations in the palace was for a grand dinner ordered by the king. The second question is, why did the Maharaja go into the kitchen in the afternoon? The Maharaja went into the kitchen in the afternoon to survey the dishes that had been prepared for the feast. The third question, it's on your screen. What had the cook planned to do with the vegetable scraps? Now let's see the answer. The answer is, the cook had planned to throw away the vegetable scraps. Now, moving on to the next, the fourth one. You have to circle the ingredients of avial in the box given below. Now, there is a blue box having lots of ingredients. The chilies, groundnut, wood, vegetable scraps, coconut, roasted peanuts, curd, pot, garlic, broken bangles, basket and curry leaves. We have to circle the ingredients which are used in the avial. Let us see what's the answer. Chilies. Okay, then we have the vegetable scraps, then the coconut, curd, garlic and the curry leaves. So what are these? These are the ingredients. Ingredients are the things that are used to make any dish. Now here we have the ingredients used to prepare a veal. The things used to prepare a veal are green chilies, coconut, garlic, the curry leaves, curd, coconut oil and the vegetable waste. Let us see what we have here. State whether the following are true or false. The first one, the king had ordered a grand dinner in the palace. What's the answer? Yes, the answer is true. Well done. No one had heard or of tasted a veal before. Now what is this? The answer is again true. Third one, the cook had planned to make another dish using the vegetable scraps. Oh no. This is false. The cook had planned to throw away all the vegetable scraps. Now let us know a few more tips before we go into the next question. What is avial? We all know it is the dish, the traditional dish of Kerala. Fine. Do you know the ingredients used to cook avial? Yes, of course, we know the ingredients. We have been dealing with it from a long time and we have also dealt with here just now. So, yes. Do we put all these ingredients at the same time to cook a veal? Oh no, not at all. So, next we will know about a recipe. Now, then what is a recipe? A recipe is a list of directions to prepare a dish. To prepare a dish, the steps which are followed is the recipe. Now here, we have got the sentences which tells us the recipe of avil they are not in order number them in the correct order these are the sentences which you have uh, dealt when we are doing the lesson also now we have to see which sentence will come first yes wash and clean the mix of vegetable bits exactly then the next one is cut the vegetable scraps into long strips third one grind some coconut green chilies and garlic whip some curd and mix in it Pour some coconut oil on top, decorate with curry leaves and finally the avial is ready for eating. Here in page number 13, given in the box are some things that children do after they reach home from school. Choose five things that you do when you reach home from school. Write them in order. This you can always do. We have dealt with it in a little complex manner. Let us watch. You have got all these works, pack your school bag, put away school bag, have lunch, read a storybook, chat with mommy about school 
and then sleep for a while wash up do the homework watch tv go to play change out of school uniform these are the regular things uh, and some of them you might be doing maybe not every day but most of the days and let us see what's the answer here so first i put away the school bag then i wash and change out of school uniform next i have lunch and chat with my mummy about school after that i read a story book and sleep for a while finally go to play and return and do my homework you can also write it in a very simple way first i put away my school bag then i wash then i change out of school uniform next i have lunch after that i read a story finally i do my homework that way also it can be done here what do we have in page number 14 the maharaja was a wise man and ordered the cook to use the vegetable scraps instead of throwing them away name some of the things which are thrown away at home or in school at home and in school let us see what do we have at home we have the vegetable scraps the leftover food fruits and vegetable seeds wrappers of packets of things the things come in different packets even that we throw away and here at school we have got the waste paper the old charts the newspaper pencil waste aluminum foils and paper cups some of them are from the school canteen also now what is the activity your next activity is how will you make use of these waste interestingly let us see i've got some ideas here for you you can have an idea on your own ideas vegetable and fruit seeds or scraps could be given to animals or pets we can sow the seeds in the kitchen garden make cards out of pencil waste make bags out of old newspaper make a compost pit things like old newspaper old boxes plastics can be given for recycling you can have your own ideas and you can write your own answers these are only a help to think upon now the word building some words have more than one meaning for example point the meanings when point is used as a noun it is a dot in print or writing a full stop a decimal the number you score in a game is a point as a verb it is to show or call attention to something now look up at the following words in the dictionary they have more than one meaning list these meanings i have done some for you ground when ground is used as a noun it is a earth surface or an area of land and verb it is a past tense of grind okay you can follow the picture let us see what we have here survey a short summary or an exhibition description of something a survey is to look over carefully examine and investigate next we have scrap now the waste materials piece left over part and verb is a discard or to dispose the waste material okay when the waste material thinks that is the noun form and when you throw away something your action of throwing it away is also called a scrap i scrap the car that time it becomes a verb sternly it's an adverb strictly severely strongly here tempting it's an adjective and is used as an adjective attractive inviting or as a verb to invite okay you tempt a dog to eat the food that's called is also tempting next you have one more exercise another word building exercise make new words by adding or dropping a few letters from the root word some are done for you the rest you have to do with the places where cross is put you, there are no words there already the hint is given so the blank places must be filled with words like pounded pounding here you have trying large you have larger and largest new you have newer and newest tasty already given tasted tasting tastier and tastiest wise wiser and wisest stare you stared and staring clean you've got cleaned cleaning cleaner and cleanest so there are two words which are having all four tasty and clean let us see what we have here find out name of food that is made in your home 
for a feast or a festival when you are annual and every day. For a feast or festival, we have kheer, halwa puri, rice, sweets, pulses, roti, laddus, okay. Tempting this dishes, isn't it? And then when you are not well, when you are sick, you have boiled rice, khichdi, sabudana khichdi, soup, boiled vegetables, dalia. These are the simple food which you can digest easily and so these foods are given to be eaten. And every day, what do we have every day? We have chapati, vegetable, rice, pulses, dosa, sambar, palav and everything. Oh, something is cooking here. Let's see what is it. Avil is a dish made in Kerala. Now, do you have a similar dish in your state? Made from the mix of many vegetables? We are from West Bengal. So, we also have a dish here. What is it called? Note down the ingredients used to make it, write down the recipe. As we are from Bengal, we also have a mixed vegetable and it is called as labra. Labra. The ingredients are potato, pumpkin, carrot, cauliflower, brinjal, drumstick, fresh green peas, grated coconut, turmeric powder, sugar, bay leaves, cumin, salt, oil and chili. The recipe, the steps, at first we wash all the vegetables, cut them into medium sized pieces, then put all the vegetables in a pan, having oil, next add the masalas and add salt according to taste. After this, pour a little amount of water and keep cooking it until it is cooked well. Finally, to garnish, we can use coriander leaves, now we can serve it with khichdi. That is how the dish is prepared. It's really yummy and tasty. Thank you. Hope you liked it and you've got all your answers now. Bye. See you again with another video.